Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets project in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to attempt to do an attendance log. There may be many other names to this. Basically, I have a class and some students or a congress or an event. And I just want to know how many people came. This is an option. The other option is that uh, I want to know from my team or from my company who who went to the training or in my students i want to know how many students attended this class or for example you have enrolled for 10 yoga classes i want to know how many you have left how many you have done these are the the uses that we may have for this attendance log as you see there may be many options and it depends on how do you handle it so i'm going to do many cases during I don't know how many videos. So I'm going to start very easy with some cases, then you can tell me in the comments what other cases I'm missing and we can do them. Okay, so let's start with a very easy one. And it's just that you are going to manually write the names of the persons that attend. So I'm going to say here, name of the class, introduction to sheets. Here I will say attendees and I'll start writing the names. This is an option. And here I can have a total number of attendees. Maybe leave one more space here. And I will just do a count A. Count A from A5 to A. And that's it. Okay, this is the, the most easy way I can fathom to do this. Other option is that I already have the people that subscribed or that wanted to attend and I just want to check if they attended or not. So let's duplicate this. I'm going to call this class 2. Here I'm going to insert checkbox and I'm going to have two indicators, number of RSVPs, you could say, of people who subscribe or that, that are subscribed or that were supposed to attend and number of attendees. So RSVPs will be all this list as I did before, but number of attendees will be the ones that I check manually who came. So for this, I'm going to do a count if. So county, first I'm going to say which range I'm going to count. And it will be this one up to B to leave it open. And then the condition will be that this is true. Because by default, when I checkbox, when it is unchecked, it says false. And when it is checked, it says true. Okay, so here. I can have number of attendees and I can have more indicators. I could say uh, percentage of attendance, for example. It's just a division, the number of attendees over the number of supposed attendees. That's it, let's put it as a percentage. Now let's start to get a bit more complex. Now let's say that my RSVPs do it through a Google form. So I'm going to go to tools, create a new form. The file will be called attendance log, but the form will be called RSVP to my sheets class. Here, I'm just going to have a name and in settings, I'm going to collect the email addresses. So I'm going to have an email and a name. That's it. I assume I only have one class. Actually, let's put it a name, name of the class to see if, if I have multiple classes or courses to which one they are buying into or which one they are, they want to, to attend. So here I'm going to have a, a multiple choice or a drop down. And for now, let's just have one introduction to functions. Let's see how my form will look. Excellent. So when I did these tools, 
create a new form, it, it created automatically a new tab with this form icon. Okay, so I'm going to create a sample response to see how it looks. Perfect, very simple. So now I want to link this in a way to something similar to this. Okay, so let's add a couple of more responses. Let's change the email a bit and change my name. It's the same curse for now. One more, one more. Okay, so I have three attendees to my introduction to functions class. So I'm going to add a new sheet. I'm going to call it class three. Actually, I'm going to delete it and duplicate this one and call this class three. So I'm going to call this the same as this introduction to functions. And this will stay the same. This will stay the same. And this will stay the same. What I'm going to change is these attendees because I'm going to bring them from here. This is the list I want. So I'm going to delete this. Delete this and just leave the first one. There are many ways I can do this. Let's do it for now with an array function here in my form responses from my name column up to B. From B2 up to B. Okay, so now I have my attendees and if I have a new submission from my web page or whatever, automatically I'm going to have it here included. So I'm just going to have this uh, validation up to the last cell and then I can manually check if he attended, if he attended at the beginning of the class, I can see who is there and then check for the boxes. Now I can move this another level of complexity that I have different classes. For now, I only have one class, but what happens if I now have more classes? So if I here add another class, introduction, people tables, and another one, query function, power of query function. Okay, so now I have three options and let's do one. Let's submit another response. But for this other curse, what happens here? Here, I see Sarah Anderson as if it were for this class. Actually, this is my total attendance if I wanted to have it. Okay, so I need one part of the puzzle up until this stage. And what I need is that it only brings the students that are enrolled for this course. See here, I have a number of courses. I only want the students enrolled for this course. This I can do it in a number of ways. I'm going to do it with a filter function. So let's delete here. I'm going to say filter. I'm going to filter my students from B2 up to B, where the name of the class that is form responses from D2 up to D is equal or equals to this one, introduction to functions. Let's close. And now I don't have Sarah because Sarah enrolled for another course. Okay, so this works great. Another thing I can do is here I can put a drop down, a data validation from my existing courses. So I can go here and start here and go up to D. This way I can duplicate my sheet, have it class number four. And now I'm going to do, I have to be very careful with this and check it. Introduction to pivot tables. And now I only have one. 
Okay. Now things start to get a bit interesting. So now I have my individual attendance for each class. So in the case of yoga classes or CrossFit classes or whatever, maybe the name of the class is not so important. So maybe you change this for date of the class. For now, let's work with name of the class and then you can change it depending on your area or you can ask me how could we change it. What I want to know is what happens if this same person reserves for another one. Let's say he reserves for this introduction to pivot tables. So let's do it. Let's submit. So now I have the same person for both. So if I put here, let's change this to introduction to function to function and this introduction to people tables. So here I can see that he is in both, but now I want to have a record of him. So I'm going to do a new sheet that is called a master students or whatever. So here I can have a much more elaborated scheme to see how my students are doing or how many classes they've reserved or how many classes they have attended or whatever. Let's begin just bringing all my students from this Google form student. Given that I don't want to repeat this one, Sebastian, I'm going to bring it with a unique function, which is a kind of filter that removes all duplicate. So it's unique from from responses B2 up to B. Close here, change this underscore for the column. Okay, so I have my students. Now I want to see how many curses they've RSVP'd. So this will be. I would do this with a count if similar to what we already did. So this will be count if. I'm going to count here in all this column BB. How many times does this name appear? And given that this is BB, it won't change. So I can drag it down and I can see. I can go a bit further and see how many courses they've attended. How? Here, I need to go one level beyond. Count if won't work. I need to do it with count ifs because I need two conditions. The first condition is that this is the name here and the second condition is that this is checked actually i could do this with a vlookup but for now let's do it with count ifs the first condition will be that in this column aa i have the name of my student of this student this is the first condition the second condition is that in this other column i have true so let's close it and here I have one because he attended this one. Okay. And now I'm going to add this to another count ifs, but for the next class, for the next sheet. So I'm going to do again a count ifs, but not for introduction to functions, but introductions to PT, to people tables. Here it doesn't have a period. And here. Also, I should change it introduction to people tables. Okay, let's close. Let's out of field. That's it. Perfect. So I have how many curses reserved, and how many curses attended. So I can have here a percentage of attendance that is just these curses attended divided by curses reserved. I'm going to do a percentage and bring it down. And finally, what I can do is I can have here um, total amount or curses in the plan. Let's say he paid a plan for 10 curses. Again, this is more useful, for example, for a yoga class or for a gym where you pay a number of classes. And then you can decide, even if you reserve that you didn't attend, 
and you here you have eight left or you just for the ones attended you have nine left and there may be many uh, modifications for example in a month if you didn't attend in a month for the 10 then you need to restart i don't know i don't manage <laughs> this in, in your specific area you will know what which method works best so i'm just going to wrap these columns up and wrap this video up again i hope it's useful i hope it gives you ideas and please let me know if there is more complex things we may attempt to do but for now i think this may be useful for your courses for your classes for your gyms for your services so as always if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and if you like it so much you want to support me you can go to the patreon page and not only support me but you can download the templates with all the formulas with all the codes in this case we don't have code but in the future we could add some depending on how do we structure this further along so thank you so much and see you the next time